Hey guys, what's up? It's Colton Lindsay coming at you with the Fearless Agent Live right here live inside of my car. Check this out guys. It snowed here in Utah today, so that's freaking awesome, being it's already the end of February, uh, close to the end of February, it's like really our first snow. How would you like to know the two biggest mistakes that realtors just like you make when quitting? Whether it's quitting a coaching program, or quitting a style of, of prospecting, or just quitting in general, right? There's usually two mistakes that people make. So as you guys hop on here, put an L in the comments if you're watching live, or an R if you're watching the replay, because I know a lot of you are the replayers. We appreciate you being part of Fearless agent so check this out we have two different aspects in our life actually it's really three right I want to start with the middle one first number two right the second aspect is when things are going well we're in the sweet spot we're going smooth we're, we're being successful things are just working out perfectly we're not we're not making any changes how many of you know about the sweet spot when you're just performing on a high level and you're stoked about it right I often say life is like being the eye of the storm right moving with the center of the storm think about this if you try to go faster than the storm you're gonna move and hit the walls and get into resistance but if you move slower than the storm you're gonna get your ass kicked from behind right so you've got to find that sweet spot the thing about the storm is, is you don't control it you cannot move that storm but you can move in the calm calamity of the storm in the center of it okay the number one must the other the other the other place it is right so we just talked about number two is be in the sweet spot. That's the place you want to be. You're not going to make mistakes in the sweet spot. But the, the, the two places where people make mistakes in quitting is the first and the third spot I'm going to talk about. Okay, So let's talk about the third spot first because this is very common. This is when we were actually, we're, we're falling behind and we're getting our ass kicked and the walls are closing in and we have negative energy and negative doubt, worry, fear. We have that negative space going on. Give me some thumbs up if you know what I'm talking about. How many of you guys have ever had a little fear in your life, right? You had some deals fall apart, or you were low on cash flow, or you had an unexpected relationship fall apart, or whatever, right? You had a friend, you're one of one of my friends and students is actually his parents' house burnt down. Talk about getting your ass kicked a little bit, right? That's a storm, right? Now, when we start to let the doubt in is when we start making mistakes. We start to make decisions based on fear, and when we make decisions based on fear, we go to what I call a protective mindset when we do when we put when we try to protect that one deal versus going through get three four five other deals that's when fear will suffocate you and you will make a lot of mistakes so that is probably the biggest number one of the two key areas people like you make mistake especially in real estate but also in life and with everything that we have to do financially spiritually mentally relationship does not matter that's where you're gonna make mistakes the other place is when we get ahead of the sweet spot we get our ego involved and we say things are going so great this is the number one area right I said there's three areas number one is the ego number two is the sweet spot number three is the fear spot right we get into those we want to be in the sweet spot and we talked about the third space which is where you're coming and making decisions fear but we got to talk about when we're making decisions based on ego this is where a lot of people get burnt in real estate and I've seen it over and over again right so for you guys watching that might be a smaller producer or a newer agent or or not producing as some as these bigger producers watch out because they've got a bigger trap than you because when you begin to produce on a higher level I know from my experience right producing on a higher level we begin to make decisions based on our ego versus based on being in the sweet spot right this is when we tend to run faster than the storm is moving and when we do that this what happens is we overextend ourselves we over leverage ourselves we over commit and cannot deliver on the commitment right so watch out for your ego when things are going so great you want to you want to grow and expand that's awesome but make it out of sweet spot decisions not out of ego and saying I did this this is my creation look how awesome I am don't be a narcissist narcissism is gonna be your biggest trap when you do begin to produce or if you're already producing fear doubt and worry is gonna suffocate you directly after that right when you make a bad decision based on your ego based on narcissism based on your own better 
forward thinking versus advising with people that have walked the path before you. When you do that, shit starts to crumble. Things start to fall apart a little bit, which is okay. That's a sign of resistance and what resists will persist in the form of pain. So when you begin to sense that resistance, whether it's from fear, from falling behind, or from trying to run too fast with your ego, it's okay. Start to, uh, to start to understand that everyone's going to have that, but then get back into the sweet spot. That's why those people that have stayed in Fearless Agent and continue to grow over and over, year after year, are continuing to add to their bottom line, but also their happiness and their fulfillment. So get into that sweet spot and stay there because the other two places you will make big mistakes. Not to suggest that you won't ever make those mistakes there because you will. Just be aware of it, right? The number one skill I hope you guys develop is awareness and awareness of focus and emotion. Got it? So hopefully you guys... How do we think bigger about ourselves and our ability to create life on our terms and more importantly to win in our real estate sales business? As we take a look at that, we have our listing presentation. Right? How often though do you set an appointment with a for sale by owner and you think, well, how am I going to convince them that I can get more money than he can? He's asking 275 and the house is worth 250.